Peace and love. Peace and love. So, I want to talk about Ramadan and how Ramadan is not about suffering. Ramadan is about overcoming suffering. Ramadan is about learning how to overcome suffering. So, how does one learn this during Ramadan? Well, I'll use myself as an example. During Ramadan, sometimes the fast is difficult and sometimes is easy. And during those days that I'm fasting, I'm learning what is making it difficult and what is making it easy. And I learn how to overcome these difficulties so I don't get to the edge where I'm suffering. Suffering, in my opinion, is not what you embrace during Ramadan. Now, I know Muslims, personally, I know Muslims who embrace suffering as a blessing. That's a whole nother video. It's in regards to a suffering that cannot be overcome. But that's not the type of suffering I'm talking about. Sometimes those type of Muslims don't know where the line is. I'm talking about self-inflicted suffering. That's the suffering I'm talking about. Self-inflicted suffering means you can not suffer if you choose. That's the type of suffering I'm referring to. So, Ramadan, in a way, can become a self-inflicted suffering where the Muslim feels like he or she should embrace this suffering. Well, for me, in my opinion, I believe it's about learning how to overcome the difficulties that could lead to suffering. So this can look like many things depending on the individual. So what you learn during Ramadan you take outside of Ramadan and you are more aware of what drains your energy because you were aware of what drained your energy when you were fasting. No food, no water is already draining your energy. But for example, when a stress hits you during your fast, it makes your fast more difficult. And you're aware of how that stress, whatever it may be, makes your fast more difficult. So you are aware that that stress is doing a toll on your mind and on your body. But you don't feel that when you're outside of Ramadan because you're eating, you're drinking, you're living life. But now after Ramadan, you're aware of how that stress affected your mind and body because it made your fast difficult. You stay away from that stress outside of Ramadan. That's just one example. It's a very general example, but it's one example. So this is what you're learning during Ramadan. It's one of the many things you learn during Ramadan. Your awareness is heightened. You're aware of things that make your fast more difficult. So when you're outside of Ramadan, you know those stresses are making things 
more difficult even though you can't feel it because you're not fasting. And this goes to learning what to eat in order to make your fast easier. A good example is this morning, I could not really eat my pre-dawn meal, but I did because I know if I didn't, when the day starts going and going and going, my fast will be difficult because I didn't want to do what was not easy during the pre-dawn meal. So it's learning about what to do to prevent suffering and to prevent difficulties that may end up become or end up becoming suffering. So Ramadan is not about suffering, it's about overcoming suffering. Again, very important, at least in my opinion. Ramadan is not about suffering. It's about overcoming suffering. Learning how to overcome suffering. Very important. And this differs for all individuals who are fasting. It may differ between two people in the same household. But again, and We'll end this and then go into the weight room. Ramadan is not about suffering. Ramadan is about overcoming suffering. So that's all I wanted to share. Peace and love.